to use. Ha-ha! Nice. Enjoy Poetry Day. Hey, Mr. Webster. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Poetry Day. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Webster. Great. Poetry Day. <laughs> Poetry Day. Searching. Got it! <laughs> Welcome to the Barnaby B. Busterfield III Memorial Library's annual Poetry Day! There's only one rule on this Poetry Day. All poems must have words with the A-I sound. A. Like chain and train and drain and raining. I'm sure you will find it quite entertaining. Yes, Cubs. If why don't I write a poem, can we read it to everybody? <laughs> Absolutely. <gasps> Come on, Leona. Let's go and write our poem. Okay. okay. Oh, we're going to write a poem. <laughs> oh, <we're> gonna... <sighs> a hundred years ago on this very date, our founder, Barnaby B. Busterfield III, held the first Poetry Day. What he began long ago, we still celebrate. <laughs> if he knew that, I wonder what Barnaby would say. I would say, thank me. Thank me very much. Busterfield, you are truly great and handsome. Poultry day? Why do chickens get a day and not us, uh... Pigeons? Yeah! It's not poultry day, it's poetry day. Oh! oh poetry! <laughs> Never heard of it. A poem can transport you, take you places in your imagination. It can move your heart and soul. It can... Oh, let's stop. Oh, hey, I see a chicken. And now, the first poem of the day. Read by the handsomest, straight shelf stackingest librarian, Theo! Ah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, spotlight, Flick. Spotlight on Theo, coming up. Oh, <laughs> click the spotlight, it's not the curtain. Oops. Yeah. I have got it. Okie dokie. Waiting for, oh. Waiting for the train. A poetical extravaganza for persons of all ages by Theo the Lion. Illustrated in stunning depictions in the antique style. Starring my sweet, adoring family. <laughs> Far away and long ago, across the still deserted plain, my great, great uncle Feswick Lion was waiting for the coming train. It was three days overdue, but on that spot he did remain, waiting cold and tired and hungry, waiting for the coming train. 200 miles away from Feswick, delayed by trees and floods and rain. The engineer said, stoke the engine. He's out there waiting for the train. 
this pleading message we received. I fear that he might be in pain. Please send train. Can't wait much longer. Won't be stopped by anything. I will not make him wait in vain. She knew that they could not slow down. Lost time they never could regain. The engine almost shook to pieces, taxed by the tremendous strain. When finally, in Uncle Feswick, barely any hope remained, he heard the sound. He saw the smoke. He could barely be restrained. We faced death, she told him, when your frantic message we obtained. Against all odds, we made it to you, so you did not wait in vain. Feswick said, I'm glad you made it. I really need not one thing more. Now I can go home happy. I'd never seen a train before. The end. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Now that was poetry. It had a meter, a rhythm, a beat. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. And it had rhyme. Words that sound the same at the end, like train and rain. <sighs> train, rain. Yes, 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 yes. And it transported you to another place and time and told a story, didn't it? Yeah, mm. but uh, it didn't have a... Uh, uh, chicken? Yeah. Mm. Hey, maybe it's poultry without the chicken. <laughs> it's not... Poetry, it's poetry! Hey, where are the, uh... Chicken! Uh, <laughs> 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 Hugo, Inez, and the pail. Hello, Hugo. Hugo has a pail. The pail is stuck. The pail is heavy. Push, Hugo, push. Pull, Hugo, pull. Inez has a pair. Sorry, Hugo.
trickle down your shirt and make a stain. Better get this information through your brain. AI can bring you pain. AI, AI, get it through your brain. AI can bring you pain. AI, AI. Wow. <laughs> but you know, oh. if it weren't for AI, we wouldn't be getting paid. And you got a point oh, there. That's true. Point. No pain, oh. no gain. <laughs> You know what? I love y'all, but I got to go. <laughs> Game. Aim. Pain. T paint. And now it's time for... Gwen's word! Gwen's word! Excellent! Gawain here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir <laughs> and Sir Ain't. Ain't. Blend on, dudes. Ain't. 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 Excellent. That's Gawain's word for today. And this is Gawain saying, don't you complain, because <laughs> I'll see you next time on Gwen's Word, Gwen's Word. Here we are, back at the final tee of the Word Cup Masters. Word writing ace Tiger Words is approaching the tee, where he must write the word paint. Could be challenging. There's the p sound at the beginning, followed by the a sound, then the n sound, then that final a n t paint. If he makes it, he will win a train trip to Spain. Tiger is selecting his writing tool. He's playing it safe on this one. It's a number two pencil. He gets in position. And oh, look at that stroke. A perfect letter P. So far, so good. The letter P makes the sound P, the first sound in the word paint. Let's see what Tiger does next. He places his pencil, and there it is, the letter A, which is the second letter in the word paint. Now watch. Tiger is writing the letter N. That makes the word pant. Oh, no. He's putting his pencil away. He seems to think he's finished. What a disappointment. But wait. He's noticed his mistake. Out comes a paintbrush. With that signature tiger style, he slips the letter I right in there next to the A, making the AI sound of A. He's written the word paint, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Tiger, and enjoy that train trip to Spain. Our next poet is a very special guest. This poet was born in Scotland. <gasps> but later, he lived in Samoa. <laughs> Besides writing excellent books like Treasure Island and The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, he was also a great poet who wrote a child's garden of verses. Now, direct from a child's garden of verses, Mr. Robert Louis Stevenson! <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very kind. Click a spotlight for Mr. Stevenson. Engaging spotlight. <gasps> Click! Oh! My blisket. 
Click, raise the curtain. Yeah! Oh. Oh. Raising curtain. Oops. <gasps> oh, Mr. Stevenson, are you all right? Oh, oh, at my age, a few new wrinkles don't bother me. And now, a wee poem that's all about the rain. And I call it Rain. The rain is falling all around. It falls on field and tree. It rains on the umbrellas here and on the ships at sea. Oh, wonderful! Robert Louis Stevenson, everybody! Give it up for Robert Louis Stevenson! Great stuff, everybody! Hey, Walter! It? Yeah, that did not tell, uh... uh... Story? Yeah. Mm. Hey, you well, but, said that poetry... Um, but poetry does not have to tell a story. It can just be a, a word picture, like that one, with meter and rhyme, but, but no story. That is poetry. Hmm. It made more sense when it just meant, uh... Chicken? Yeah! Yeah. It never meant chicken! Never! <laughs> Our next poets are my talented cubs, Lionel and Leona, with a poem they wrote. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <clears throat> Click. Curtain. Curtain. Very clever, Lionel. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Drain chain. Uh, by Lionel. Leona. Oh, me. <clears throat> Drain. Chain. Drain. Chain, chain, chain. Drain, drain, drain. Chain, chain. Drain, drain. Chain, 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 chain. Drain, 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 drain. Drain, drain, drain chain. chain. Um, uh, uh, you're going to say that that poem did not paint a word picture, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I suppose we we could say that that one was um, was about the words. Yes, the sounds um uh, uh, accented by the poet's uh, uh, raw emotion. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> That's poetry too. My brain, uh... Hurts? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. When two vowels go walking, the first one does a talking. In both you hear the O and not the A. In meat you hear the E. The A sits quietly. The second vowel you see, but you don't say. Just the two of us together In train and pale and rain The A speaks up, the A does not But shh, let me explain When two vowels go walking The first one does the talking In brain you hear the A but not the I In soap the O is clear The A you'll never hear In say you say the A but not the Y Isn't it neat? But shh, it can't be beat. But, but shh, it's such a dream. Don't mean to boast, but here's a toast. We're quite a team. When two vowels go walking, the first one does a talking. I'm sorry, number two, it's such a shame. Although it gives you pain. The rule is very plain. When two vowels walk, the first one says its name. But 
Yes, when two valves walk, the first one says its name. Dr, dr, d, r, dr, dr. A, n, d, r, ain, drain, drain, drain. Once again, it's the continuing daring and dangling adventures of Cliffhanger! Today's adventure, number 2,498, Cliffhanger and the Rain. Cliffhanger, hanging from a cliff, and that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Excuse me, excuse me! We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. And suddenly, it begins to rain and rain and rain. Cliff strains to reach into his backpack and soon obtains his trusty survival manual. Using his expert decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. Hmm. Rain? Grain? Ah, here we are. Rain. If it rains and rains and rains, don't complain. Jump into the water. I can't complain. Is this it? Has Cliffhanger finally gained his freedom? Look, a chain. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. I danced with a chicken in the rain and was filled with deep emotion. I danced with a chicken in the rain. It was poultry in motion. Whoa, very good. <laughs> I did. <laughs> very nice. Thank you, strange chicken. It's sad to see this day now end. But I hope we've started a poetry trend. Thanks to all the poets who came all the way here. And we'll see you all again next year. We have um, uh, 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 a poem. Yeah! Oh. What? No! Run for cover! Those pigeons will just annoy you! <clears throat> it's called a poem. Yeah. Oh, oh no. No. Written by, uh... Us? Uh, yeah! Yeah! Written by us! Yeah, that's right. You saw it, Walter. Oh, uh, thanks, Clay. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. A poem is like a train. Huh? It transports you over time and space. Takes you to another place. Though here, you must remain. A solitary bust of stone. Alone no more, with no restraints. Alive in worlds a poem paints. Finally has no complaints. <laughs> For all the burdens he has known, float away, then fall like rain. About the poem that's like... Uh, uh, uh. Train! <laughs> Wonderful! Uh, I felt transported! I can't believe they wrote such a beautiful poem. For me. Closing curtain! I did it! Applause for most! 
Bravo, Walter and Clay Pigeon. You are more talented than I ever gave you credit for. That was beautiful poetry. Uh, I still don't get how you can have poultry without, uh, uh... Chicken? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I take it all back. Games and stories at the Between the Lions website. PBSKids.org or America Online. Keyword PBS Kids. What's that, Lionel? Oh, that, Leona, is a lug nut. Uh -huh. <laughs> a kid who gets wild about reading gets wild about learning. Be a designated reader. <laughs> What's that? Mmm, lug nut. <laughs>